If you're iPhone 16, 16 Pro Max or Plus is overheating and you're getting the temperature error that says iPhone needs to cool down before you can use it, or it gets hot while charging or heating up randomly while using camera, or even simple tasks like streaming or going through emails, then let me show you how you can minimize heating issues on your iPhone 16 and fix overheating. Before getting too worried about your iPhone's overheating issue, you should take a look at the list and these are the reasons why it's normal for your iPhone to warm up a bit. But in your case, if your iPhone gets warm when you're charging it using a wired charger, then make sure that your charger is not above 30 watts, or else it will get a bit hot to touch. But as long as there's no heat warning, then there's nothing much to worry about. Also, you should check your iPhone's iOS version and make sure that it's up to date. To check that, just go to Settings, then General, Software Update, and make sure there's no update pending. After that, you also need to make sure all your apps are up to date or else they may be causing overheating. You can easily do that by opening the App Store, then tap on your profile from the top right, scroll down, and hit Update All. This will ensure that all the apps are updated on par with the iOS. And speaking about apps, some apps may cause your iPhone to overheat in the background. And to fix that, just go to Settings, then General, scroll down, and select Background App Refresh. Now, turn off App Refresh for all the apps except the important ones, such as Mail or Social Media. Now your iPhone should not overheat like before. And as always, keep your iPhone away from direct sunlight and while charging, refrain from using your iPhone. Also, it's very normal for your iPhone to heat up a lot while using the camera app. So you don't need to worry about that. But in case your iPhone heats up excessively while you're doing nothing, then this may be some hardware issue and to fix that you should contact Apple support which you can do very easily through the Apple Support app. That's all for now. Let us know your feedback. If this was helpful, give us a thumbs up, support our work by subscribing, and stay tuned.